all living beings require food and water. Have you ever wondered how plants eat and drink? We all know that plants prepare their food through the process of photosynthesis. In this process, food is prepared in the leaves with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight. The food prepared by the leaves is carried to various parts of a plant. Have you ever thought from where plants get raw materials for the preparation of food? Soil is the nearest and richest source of raw materials for plants. But how do plants take these raw materials from the soil? Plants absorb these substances from the soil through their roots. However, a point worth mentioning here is that if the distance is small, energy and raw materials can easily diffuse to all parts of the plant body. But the diffusion process won't work if the distance is large. Thus, in this situation, a proper transportation system is required for plants. The requirement of energy is different for different organisms. Plants do not exhibit movement and they contain dead cells in a large proportion in various tissues. Thus, energy need is comparatively low in plants as compared to animals. Hence, a relatively slow transport system can work well in them. However, it is interesting to note that the distances over which transport systems have to operate can be very large in tall trees. Two pathways are present in plants for transportation. Plants transport water to all parts of the plant through a vascular transport tissue known as xylem. While food, particularly glucose, is transported to all parts of the plant through a vascular transport tissue known as phloem. Transportation is a vital process for plants. It facilitates the movement of water and minerals to all parts of the plant and thus helps in its growth and survival. 